What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and we're here to talk about a Town Hall 8 Dark Elixir farming strategy uh, called Goblin Knife. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of Goblin Knife. I've heard of it. I haven't really used it a lot because I'm really happy with my giant Wizzy strategy. Uh, but I wanted to give Goblin Knife a try. Uh, you're supposed to be able to use Goblin Knife while you're pushing because you can just hurry up and get to the Town Hall. Since the Town Hall is considered a storage, the Goblins are going to go right for it and attack it. And you'll see that in some of these raids, how fast they get the uh, Town Hall down. It is nuts. But we're cleaning up as far as Dark Elixir, hitting some nice 3-4k raids. Uh, here's the army comp that we're using. We're using 15 Giants, 12 Wizzies, 8 Wall Breakers, 80 Goblins. That's right, 80. 8 zero Goblins. One archer, we got two heals. We're not always using our heals, but I like to use the heals on the giants. Uh, a jump and rage. Jump and rage is the most crucial part of this. Uh, you're gonna jump and rage the uh, goblins into the core of the base uh, so that they can get the dark elixir and get the town hall in a hurry. Uh, and then we got a couple poisons to deal with clan castle troops, but we're gonna look through, uh, check this out, like 3300, 3900, 3600, uh, 4500. We've lost, I think that was against the town hall 11. I wanted to see how it would do. Uh, 3,000, 2,500, 4,100, 4,200. Just a lot of solid raids. So we're going to go ahead and get into the first replay, show you guys how this is working, show you how fast this is, and maybe you guys can start using uh, Goblin Knife as a solid Dark Elixir farming strategy. I've been liking it. Uh, I'll probably switch between this and my uh, my Giant Wizzy strategy uh, that I will link in, the, link in the description and a link right here with the card. So make sure you guys check that out. One of the most popular videos on my channel. So let's go ahead and get in some of these raids and show you guys. All right, what guys, I'm doing. we're going up against a Town Hall 10. Uh, if you're going to go up against a Town Hall 10, make sure the Infernos are set to single. Uh, those are single Infernos. You see how they have the one eye. Uh, the multi -in Infernos will have like it'll look like it's going to spew out spew out multiple beams. Uh, the single Inferno looks just like that. Uh, that way they can't just lock on to all your goblins at once. They can only do one at a time. The multis will melt the goblins and not work too well. So this is single infernos, a decent amount of dark elixir available, 4400 available. So we're going to go ahead and get into this raid, show you guys what I'm doing. So I learned very fast not to try to corner or funnel a corner. So we're going to funnel sides on this. Uh, so we're going to send in a, gob a giant. I wanted to test and see if there's a spring, spring trap there because that looked like a perfect spring trap spot. Uh, put in our giants, put in our whizzies behind them to take out, you know, kind of the front line of stuff. Send in the wall breakers to break through some walls here. And you see, we're, we're penetrating into the base pretty early. Send in the king, send in the queen uh, to take out that hero and just work their way through the base a little bit. And then we're sending our clan castle troops, whatever you can get in the clan castle. I was getting Valks, which was really nice, helped out quite a bit. So if you can kind of like make a line, you can see here before we even deploy. I kind of messed up. I deployed a little bit early because we still have like some storage or some uh, storages and whatnot. But you want to kind of make a line to the town hall and the dark elixir. You see that besides like uh, over here and way over here, that's going to fall in a second. Once we jump right here, there's going to be a line right to the dark elixir, right to the town hall. So that's what we want. You want to drop your jump right before you deploy your goblins and get them in there. So these goblins, once that uh, drill goes down, or the pump goes down, they're going to go right towards the core. Uh, Wizzy's coming out of the CC, and it's not even a big deal. We rage up, and the goblins just go in there. You can't even really see it. It just happens so fast. Bam, the town hall is down, just like that. And that's what Goblin Knife's all about. Hurry up and get in the town hall, getting the one star, so you don't really even lose any trophies. You can maintain your league, and you can get tons of Dark Elixir. You're going to get league bonuses. You're going to get all, lots of Dark Elixir. Almost all the Dark Elixir uh, from the b bases and get your league bonuses which helps out uh we're farming here in masters league which the league bonus is really nice uh so really fast attack uh i'm gonna speed this up because it was just little stuff i just let this archer here but you saw there we got four thousand dark elixir and like 30 seconds if that like that was a super fast raid and that's the whole point of the goblin knife is to hurry up and get the loot in a hurry so let's go ahead and skip forward to the end of this raid bam there you have it 49 percent 4200 uh, Dark Elixir plus our League bonus, a very nice grab. So let's go ahead and get into another replay and show you exactly what we're doing. I, I'm loving Goblin Knife. It's really fun. It's different. It's quick. It's fast. So let's go ahead and check out okay, another so one. So here we have a nice little hit, uh, almost a million in loot, 4500 Dark Elixir. We're focusing on Dark Elixir. We're getting ready to go to Town Hall 10. I'm probably going to make the jump to Town Hall 10 this weekend. I'm ready to go. I want to get some miners, some bowler content out for you guys. I'm going to take my Town Hall 8 up to Town Hall 9, uh, show you guys some low-level Town Hall 9 stuff, and then we also have Rocky 3, which is a Town Hall 8, and we have a Town Hall 7 that I'm still working on, uh, but that's the battle plan. So I want to get 
this dark elixir. Uh, that's the main focus, and I got like 30 walls or something like that left. So here's what we're gonna do here. Same, ba same basic concept. We're gonna put the giants down here, Wizzy's in behind to create that funnel for the uh, goblins. Uh, the main focus is you wanna take out all the pumps and mines uh, and just get those out. So you see all the pumps and mines are dropping right there. Uh, we send in our heroes, send in the Valks. Uh, those, getting to the clan castle Valks was nice. So you see, we jump and even pre-rage this area. So this whole area right here is jump and pre-rage. So once those goblins go in, they are gonna go in in a hurry. So check this out. We're gonna double drop the goblins in and they're just gonna funnel in there, take out that storage in a hurry, get in there. We're gonna heal them up, get that dark elixir. They're gonna get in there, get the town hall and look at all those goblins. Go for the CC because the CC is considered a storage and they just run through this base in a hurry. Uh, so we get half the dark elixir in a hurry. Uh, we drop a whizzy over here to grab that drill and up here is the rest of the dark elixir which we're gonna work our way towards but it just happens in a hurry I, i'm loving how fast this attack is i think it's a pretty cool concept of being able to attack this fast i mean these these replays are short you're seeing how fast we're getting to the, the loot i mean if we didn't go for this drill here uh we would have hit it fast make sure you poison your archer towers don't poison the archer towers guys it's a running joke i have on stream that you can poison archer towers some people will believe me but it, there we go we're gonna grab this last dark elixir there and we gained 4500 dark elixir half a million and grab plus our bonuses like a very nice raid i am it's just so quick uh you you have time to do stuff after your raid because once you find a base you're you're hitting it you're in and out so let's show off one more replay show you guys exactly what i'm talking about here and hopefully you guys can start using goblin knife to grab some dark elixir and grab some okay trophies. so i know i said before not to try to funnel corners but and th this was one instance I thought that it would work out well just because of the positioning. Uh, you can see the, the drills are down here, the storage is down here, all in this little section. So I figured let's go ahead and funnel this corner. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start by dropping our giants in there. Uh, and just same thing, giants with whizzies behind. It's the basic concept of farming, giants and whizzies. Uh, it's one of the main dark elixir farming strategies, giants and whizzies all day. Uh, so we get that in there. We're already going to get the drills without even sending in our goblins. Uh, so it's really easy to grab all that in a hurry there, uh, as you see. We're going to make sure we take out these little uh, the mines. That way our goblins don't get distracted when we go for the main dark elixir here. So we're going to go ahead and jump. Like I said, pre-jump that area. And then we're going to double drop our goblins in. Uh, they get a little bit distracted, but they do end up going towards the dark elixir, which was already taken out. The dark elixir was already taken out. Uh, the town hall goes down in a hurry. That's the main thing is you want to get that one star really late on the heal spell, but it didn't matter because we got the dark elixir. We got all the dark elixir already in this raid. 4,000 dark elixir that fast, guys. It just happens super fast. And then you just have troops to clean up and have fun with. So hopefully you guys are liking Goblin Knife. Hopefully you guys are going to use it. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you're already using it. I know a lot of people already know about Goblin Knife. I, know, I had a few people in stream last night saying, what is Goblin Knife? What is that, Bash? What are you doing? Uh, so I was like, we're, we're going to learn today. XP helped me out a little bit with the army comp. Uh, my army comp was a little bit off, but he helped me out quite a bit. And once we get it down, we were, we were grabbing a lot of loot. Uh, I want to say we grabbed like 40 or 50k in a three hour session last night, so not too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see the CR updates. I saw that they're, they're going to be doing uh, sneak previews for Clash Royale. We will cover Clash Clans uh, sneak previews for sure. And then I got something cool planned. I don't know if you guys are going to like it, but we're going to try it out. See how it goes over. That'll be coming up uh, probably later this weekend or early next week. I'm, I'm not sure. I got to test it out and see how to record it. So anyways, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share this to all your friends. Tell all your friends, oh my god, Goblin Knife is so fun. You guys got to check out Clash Bash and hit Goblin Knife so good. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you tune into the streams this weekend. I'm going to be streaming quite a bit tonight and Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing, guys.